peace. This is Brother Hatim, and you have joined us on Giami Journey Radio. Be sure to check out our site and subscribe at tribe.giamijourney.com. Peace. This is Brother Hatim, and you have joined us on Giami. Peace. This is Brother Hatim, and you have joined us on Giami. You are now Journey listening to Radio. Giami Journey Radio. Be sure to Radio. check out our site and subscribe at tribe.giamijourney.com. Great day, great day. This is Brother Hot Tim coming at you live. And this is Give Yourself Permission. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. And I'm having some major technical difficulties because I can't find my mouse and my uh, finger pad is not working. But we're going to go on with the show. So I couldn't even do my promos. I can't do my my Phoenix Scream or my Lion Roar. But that's all cool. Um, Today... <coughs> We're talking about don't give yourself permission. We want to give ourselves permission to soar. And um, this one was brought on because, like, I have a, a um, I have created a list of, of of random give yourself permissions. So um, the one that popped up this morning before I went for my run was give yourself permission to soar. Well, actually, one that I already did popped up, but. Um, Give yourself permission to soar popped up. And in in, in my studies, um, one of the things that I've run across, and I've been big up in it, and like I said, I have to do a, a disclaimer on it. On it. Um, it's a book, or actually, it's an audible book called Arabian Nights, or A Thousand and One Tales. Um, and I, I ran down a little bit of the history over the last few shows because I've been... I'm really, really into this because you know I'm into stories. But the disclaimer is that if you're Jewish, if you're black, if you're Indian, or you're just anything but Persian, really, you know, you you may be you 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 may be offended by uh, some of the stories because it don't reflect good on anybody outside of the culture that this book wrote. But the lessons are still there. You know, one of my elders taught me a long time ago, get the message and leave the mess. So um, one of the stories that I was listening to on um, on the, this morning, and I listened to several times because it's kind of entertaining, is a story about a barber and his six brothers. And basically the story is about this long-winded barber who... who tell stories and and you start to realize that um during this time they had no other form of really no other form of entertainment entertainment that was available to everybody but stories um stories uh were the main entertainment so when they ran into it in each other they would ask an individual to tell me your history tell me about your travels tell me about your journeys and people were going to it, but this barber was was uh, very long winded, and he said he he said his nickname was the Silent. But you know, out of the whole series of books, this barber got more stories and speaks longer than anybody else in the story. In the whole thousand and one nights that this lady told the stories, the barber is prominent. Um, and he told a story about his fifth brother that kind of will plug into what we're talking about in allowing yourself to soar. And um, upon the death of their father, the barber and his brothers received 700 ounces of silver. And they split it, the ounces of silver, um, evenly. So each one of them got 100 ounces. So his fifth brother is said to have taken... His, his his hundred ounces of silver and bought some glassware to sell. So he sets up this nice little table and he's sitting in front of the table and he starts telling himself a story. He starts really himself and telling himself a story. And the story 
leads into everything you're gonna buy. I'm gonna sell these. Uh, this 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 glass that I bought cost me a hundred ounces of silver. I'm gonna sell it and make two hundred ounces of silver. And this story grows all the way into he's going to marry the vizier's daughter and he's going to treat the vizier's daughter so bad and he's going to buy himself a horse with a golden saddle and he's talking about all this stuff that he's going to do with this glass and he gets so involved in his imaginations that at one point in time he gets to a point where he's talking about abusing his new wife which is going to be the vizier's daughter and he kicks her and he kicks his leg and knocks over the table and shatters all the glass and everybody start laughing at him and i'll stop the story there it's, it's more of a story and i encourage you to go and do your um your own research and and, and really check out the story but the, the point that i want to get here is that that's what a lot of people consider soaring we soar inside of our minds we soar inside of our brains we soar with our imaginations which have their place but soaring also has a physical component when we give ourselves permission to soar we want to also soar in our work ethic we want to soar in our in, in our ability to make things happen in the world because it's beautiful to be able to sit up there like like the fifth brother and and just think and about this 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 imagined reality and to really get involved with it because when we're imagining and we're thinking we have to really get involved with it we have to feel it we have to smell it and he got it he got that part of it most of us got part of, part of it but we lack the commitment to carry it through in reality you know what i'm saying we lack the commitment. So when it comes to soaring, soaring requires a commitment. Not only in imagination, not only in mind, but in our physicality. It requires a commitment from us. When an eagle soars, the eagle has to commit to being out there just in the air and him. There's a commitment. There's a relationship there between that eagle's work and how high that eagle soars. So... Those of us that are trying to do great things, those of us that are going to do great things, we have to give ourselves permission to soar. Many of us are stuck on the ground, still imagining, still thinking. We haven't trusted the air. We haven't trusted our dream enough to jump off and soar. And that requires work. And it gets scary. You know what I'm saying? But we can't allow ourselves to be overcome with fear. Now, also, um, I'm going to end this quick because I want to get to my other show because my, um, it's like my uh, uh, device is touch sensitive for only so long. So, I'm going to get off of this and I'm going to record um, uh, folk tales for grown folks on my um, phone. But I'd like to thank everybody for listening. Um, make sure that, that um, you check out Check out our archives at um, journeyarchives.com. Also, be sure to check out our site, um, tribe.giamijourney.com. Also, check out the blog, giamijourney.com. You know what I'm saying? Feel free to hit me up. Anybody that's out there that have um, 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 stories to tell, that have um, um, statements that you would like to make, either email me, um, text me, or... You can record it on MP3, and I'll play your responses over the air. I mean, I would really love to do that. So this is Brother High Tim saying peace, and it's going to take me a second to cut this thing off. So I want you to be patient with me because it's acting up right now, and we are out. This is ridiculous.